hear the screaming. So I, I, I see one of my neighbors across the street leave his house and run toward my house. But he doesn't come to my house. He goes next door. So I go to the door to see what he's looking at. And this girl is hit, kicking the door and screaming. And so I go over there with my Big Mac. And I say, well, can I help? What's going on? She says, I've been kidnapped. And I've been in this house a long time. I want to leave right now. All right. So I opened the door and we couldn't get in that way. So we kicked the bottom of it and she came through. And when she came, I thought she was the only one. And she grabbed some little girl and had the little girl in her arm. She said, this is his daughter. Now, it didn't dawn on me who his was. I didn't know we were talking about him, my neighbor. I thought she meant another dude. And so this young lady identified herself as, as a man of bear. And she said, this is his child. And that girl's about 9, 10 years old. You know what I mean? And what about Gina De Jesus? And she was up there, too. Now, she didn't come out with Amanda. The police went in the house and, and, and got them. And, um, and, and all this time, 10 years, nobody having figured nothing out about where she is at. And then this has come to an ending, and it's right here in Seymour. How surprising is this? How shocking is this to the neighborhood? Oh, uh, man, we are really shocking, man. We're just grateful. Thanks God. You know, we never, we never um, 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 hoped that um, something really, really did happen to her. We always hoped that, um, the, that, that she was still living.